Hello everyone, my name is Josée Cloutier. I am an artist and a teacher at uh, Pinceau in Quebec City. It's my second uh, participation in the event uh, Painted Canada. I'm very happy for that. And uh, the first time I had shown you this one, it was, uh, his name is Like a Queen. And uh, I just want to thank Audrey for the invitation and Carole and Bruno uh, for uh, giving me the chance to show you my newest pattern in English. This one, it's a uh, tailor made for you. So I show you a short video of the techniques and uh, good viewing. Thank you. I used two regular 8 by 24 inch canvas. The first step is to make two coats of titanium white from PBO with a 2 inches blue ice brush. It works very good with the eye viscosity paint. After you do the tracing of the drawing and I retrace all the lines with PBO's 0.7 millimeter deco marker acrylic pencil to keep my lines. On the palette, I put titanium white and I make two mixture in proportion of one to one of titanium white and raw amber, another with iridescent green blue and iridescent silver. Then I use the PBO drop shape sponge. I wet it and wring it out well. I start to make the bubbles of the background with the mixture of raw amber and titanium white. First, soak the damp sponge in the color and pat on the palette. Wipe the excess on a cloth and start to make circle in the top of the canvas. Going down to the bottom, the sponge quietly empties and gives you all kinds of intensity. You can recharge the sponge uh, as you want and as you can see I press the sponge a little on the canva and I turn to make a more precise pattern. After this uh, first step I cleaned the sponge well and reload with titanium white only to soften and bind the first patterns. And then it's your choice to decide if you want more beige or if you want to bind more. We can come back with the mixture and white until we are satisfied. The last step in the background is to add the iridescent mixture. The same way with the sponge and you can still adjust to your taste by coming back with the white. Now we are going to make the lines of the drawing with the relief ring, the sound relief. To open it, we use the cap and it's ready to be used. It is a very interesting product for making texture and creating lines in a project. It is done in several colors, especially metallic, like different tones of gold, copper, white, black. For this project, I choose silver. It is important for the relief ring sans relief to hold the tube a little tilted to be sure to have a thick line that will be able to retain the more liquid paint of the stained glass in the next step.
You can also add fine lines to create texture and folds in the garment. Then let it dry and apply two coats of spray satin varnish. We are at the stage of stained glass colors. These are oil colors. You need to provide a pot with odorless solvent to rinse the brush. I use, uh, I use two transparent colors. To stir them, place the pot upside down and simply roll between the ends. For the colors of uh, prism, which are painting with honeycomb patterns uh, compatible with stained glass. They must be steer with a stick and we will also use the lightning medium and the glitter medium. I always work the stained glass paint with a dagger brush. I apply drops using the tip of my brush and I place all the color uh, as you can see, I drop the darkest color in the shadow area. This color, it's a smoky gray. And I put little, little drops. After that, I put cyan blue, a bigger uh, drops. After that, you will see that I put on the surface, on the bodice, um the lightning um medium you need to put enough paint to almost cover the surface this way it will be easy to mix the colors well After I drop all the color, I begin to integrating the smoky gray with the cyan blue. After that, I will wipe my brush and then gently integrate the cyan blue with the lightening medium. This way, I create the shadows and the lights. I do the old bodice the same way. If the paint is overflowing a bit, you can just wipe it up with a Q-tips. It leaves no traces since we have varnished. 
For the small decoration of the center and the buckles of the straps, I put mini drops of fluorescent pink and fluorescent yellow prism and some mixed with cyan blue and fluorescent yellow so they become green. You can also put some on the freshly painted bodies around the center. The skirt is made in three sections to facilitate the work. At first I apply drops of smoky grey for the shading under the bodice. Uh, then cyan blue and glitter medium to brighten up. As the surface are large, you can also pour directly on the canvas from the bottle if you want. Um, this uh, section of the project is um, work thinner with brush. As you can see, it's thinner than the bodice uh, to create the frayed finish at the bottom of the skirt. To add a bit of lines and create folds and texture, I just I decide to add some cyan blue around the section to create more depth in the skirt. While the section is freshly painted, it's time to add drops of prism. The first color is a fluorescent pink that uh, I simply take my dagger brush and drop drops <laughs> with the tip of the dagger all over the section, the small, the bigger, as you like. After you did the fluorescent pink, you wipe the brush and then do the same with the fluorescent yellow that you can drop on the pink circles and next to them and they will turn green mixing with cyan blue. The last step is to link the circles with the point of the dagger. I pass through the colored circle to add lines all around the skirt. And you do the same with the last section of the skirt. Hoping that you like this project you can make the pink dress with the same methods the two drawings are included in the pattern